Xylophony back with Mario, and it's time to watch some Red Dragon Archfiends go up against some new mech lords. We're gonna see which one of these comes out on top. Mario wanted me to bring a spicy little synchro deck. I sure haven't played this one in a while, so I, hopefully all will go well. I was thinking about synchro deck and I was like, you don't have that many synchro decks, and I remember you have a really nasty I got a lot of like decks with synchro, I'd say. Not necessarily synchro focused decks. Yeah, like this one, I guess TG is another one. Red Eyes Variants. Mm -hmm. um, blue eyes vari oh, variants of a bu bunch of different things. But yeah, it's. I remember. I don't got a colossal fighter to fall back on. Hey, colossal fighter's good. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. He's your boy. All right, so I will add a red resonator to my hand. Seems like the simple, straightforward thing. I guess you have your uh, field card set out and a couple things set. Uh, yeah. Oh. Let's nice. see if we can get past it. I have a. Yeah. It's a little bit of a mixture I found online. That mixes the uh, Star Frost character guys. Okay. As a little bit of an engine. Neat. Uh, so, I don't have anything in Graveyard yet, so that won't be doing anything too crazy. Um, but what I can do is start the climb. So, we're gonna go into Red Dragon Rising with my four and my two. I'm gonna go over here, just because I'm still afraid of columns to this day. <laughs> no, you, sh you shouldn't be. It's not like I'd ever run a. Uh... <laughs> Of course. Mech, not you. Not mech lords. What were they called? <laughs> All right. And what does the uh, red familiar do from graveyard? I can banish it and then target a uh, dark dragon synchro monster to clear levels. That's neat. I don't think I'll need to do that right now, but the option is there. Hmm. Uh, let's just cut to the chase and uh, special summon synchron resonator and go for a nice simple uh, play here. So it's very uh, out. Go on. Yeah, I was gonna say it's very obvious from uh, from like the character Jack Atlas that his soul would be like bright red and all that. Hence the whole familiar being red. What would you think sure. your soul color would be? Like honestly, purple. You think purple? <laughs> okay, okay, I'll, okay. I'll guess for you. You guess for me. What do you think my color would be? Oh. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. Chartreuse. Chartreuse. I was gonna say green for you. Chartreuse is just an uglier green, so. Hey! <laughs> I don't even know what chartreuse is. There. <laughs> Perfect. You're gonna make me Google that right now. Yeah, I'm gonna make you look up colors now. Alright, that adds this back to my hand. So let's go ahead and do that. I will not negate myself. That would be silly. And that goes down. I can do some other things here. Uh, I don't chartreuse know if I need is to. Yellow. Well, it's, it's kind of a yellowish, greenish, brownish mess. <laughs> and then we will activate. Do I just go at you here and then save my plays? Because I think I need, yeah, I need alternative means to go into that. So, sure. We'll just smack at you. And we just got one strong negate on the field. And battle. Oh, yeah, that's what those boys do. Yeah, this small okay. little guy can prevent the uh, his destruction once per battle. Very nice. I suppose I will end my turn then. Um, oh, yeah, this guy, I believe. It's only when I destroy things I can bring stuff out. Nope, I need to do battle damage, which I did not. So we'll just be chill for now. I really completely forget what to expect from mech lords. Well, I, I normally I want to summon out the little core guy by normal summon, mm -hmm. but he still takes battle damage, so I didn't. Yeah, so that would have been a hefty so hit. So even if I would have, because he, normally he can search out a Mechlord spell a trap card, but mm -hmm. he would have still been like alone on a field with zero attack. So okay, I had to make a choice on that one. It's fair. Uh, anyway, so I can send one to the graveyard. Uh, let me see. I will send. I What's going? What's going to leave us? I think the one I need to send is a Mech Lord Emperor, so I'm going to send one of the Grinnells to the grave. Alrighty. What do I got? Yeah, we're good to go. Then, I'm going to activate this, destroy my own core. Ooh. Okay. To special summon him. Activate my core. Uh, I negate core. 
Oh you... wait, no, I have to negate on field. Yeah, I was about to say. Part. I was gonna say. I think you negate on field. Yep, I, was I reading, certainly do. I was reading him while you were uh, doing your thing. Yeah. <laughs> As I said, I haven't played this like in a while, but um, uh oh. Hmm. Sure. <laughs> All right. Neither but, of them are huge effects on field right now, so I was very wasted. Yeah, and you wanted to use it on this guy, because now I can absorb yes. your monster. Oh, no! <laughs> That's brutal. Very brutal. Okay. Well, I live. Oh, yeah, and I added life points to myself as well. Yeah, but sadly, only Mechalord Emperors, they, can, are, they are the only ones allowed to attack. Okay, gotcha. Still, big hit. Wonderful. Yep. Uh, is that where I want to end it? Um. Seems like a good play. Yep. All right. End of turn. Because he does still have also a negate as well. Oh, he does. Ooh. All right. I think I will. Let's just try to go for the red resonator summon again. That'll either bait the negate or uh, do something else. So we will see. That's really all this can kind of be used. Oh, I should have used that so hard. Oh, well, I'm done. We will simply. Um... Yeah, we'll put this out. And then what can I do? I have like all tuners right now. It's a bit of a mess. I thought this guy was going to be able to activate from graveyard, but no. So, oh yeah, because I need to have something like that on the field. I think I'm in danger. Well, let's see if we can get ourselves out of danger. Send away Synchron Resonator. As nice as it would be. Maybe we'll be able to get this playoff for later. I think oh, that's where I'm going to activate it. Okay. I think I'm dead then. Oh, are you? I mean, you can attack, can't you? So. True. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were gonna have. Forward. I thought you were gonna do something with the resonator, but then I remembered. Oh yeah, both of them are tuners. Yeah. Don't exactly have a uh, Helka Fibrax in here to save me, so. All right. So I'm guessing you want to go second again. Yeah. yeah. We'll see if that works out. All right. Well, I'm gonna activate my pre-preparation rights to add my heavy interlock Ooh. and my riot okay. dragon. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Then, going to normal summon my Infinity Core. Infinity Core is going to allow me to add a card. I'm going to add the Mechlord Assembly. Mm -hmm. Activating the Mechlord Assembly. I can add a Mechlord Monster to my hand. I am Very going nice. to add the Deployer. Then, I will activate its effect. I'll get rid of one of my heavy interlocks to destroy my own core. Activating the core. Mm, well done. And also activating the effect of my Grinnell. It's all going off. Beautiful. To also bring out the Weissel. Then I activate the effect of a. Uh, I did. I play the spell card of a heavy interlock. Targeting my Riot Dragon, Gold Gadget, and my Army Guy. I forgot what he called. To bring out the Riot Dragon. And of course, his effect allows that will go off in the end phase. Okay. End of turn. Don't worry. That's I all you. Worried, actually. Use a resonator call. Get myself a nice red resonator to the hand. Just kidding. I already had one. Oh, uh, so that was a bait, huh? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> and then, oh, we can do that for free. Well, I could, I think you can only negate spell or trap, so I don't think it was a heavy. Yeah, game. so there was a reasonable use anyway. And yeah, I when your opponent activates a spell card. This. Hmm. So you're done fine. Put that out, even though I don't have a specific reasoning for it. Now, I guess we go for this step and just see if we can do that. Or we just rush this. No reason to rush it. Let's go here. And use you and you. Out comes this. Not so fast. I activate Riot Dragon. Riot Dragon can destroy it by sacrificing himself. Oh, and I can't even use this card? Oh, no. Because <laughs> I negated the summon, technically. No, I mean another card in my hand. Ooh. Yeah, I guess that might be it, because the summon's negated. 
Alright. <laughs> Double negate me, why don't you? <laughs> uh, okay, what do you do? What does he do from the grave? Um, if this card is in your graveyard, you can target one Boro or Rocket Monster in your graveyard. Destroy one card you control or in your hand, and if you do, add that target to your hand. Oh, so I can add him back. Okay. Oh, well, I think I can just attack. Yeah, so... Why so like still it. the only one allowed to attack? So you have time to make a comeback. Yeah, but I've already played my hand, so this deck doesn't exactly get multiple play Why can I not return of the Dragon Lords? Oh, because he never touched the field. It's a ruling. It's a ruling. Yeah, it's just I didn't know he had a... He so, uh, had for cards be. for cards like that, if they never touch the field, technically they were never in play. And those cards return monsters to play. So oh, were, okay. So if they were never in play... Yeah, it is a return, not a... Special. Well, okay, sure. Then I. Uh... That's a weird ruling because it doesn't say return anywhere on the card, but. Well, except in the title, of course. But... Then activate you. Send to the graveyard. Draw a new card. I guess I'll activate the field spell. Add to hand the star frost. Jeez. Activate. Destroy. I guess let's get rid of the Weissel so I can attack with Grinnell. Oh no. I was kind of hoping on that. Because I could have put a defensive monster out, but at the same time, that means I don't get to win the duel. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because I need multiple cards in hand to play, obviously. So. Mm hmm. No, I get you. So I was just going to eat up a couple of those uh, 2,500 hits and then move in. Well, what are you waiting on? Oh, never mind on that. I thought I could synchro summons off something, but I forgot Grinnell's also treated as a level one monster. Hey, Xylo, you know what? I could bring, I can put Zushin in his deck because he's level one, right? Theoretically, yeah. Just, um... The duel will just be ending so quickly with these guys on the field, though. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Um... Yeah, I don't think there's much more. I guess the best I can do is probably just use these two to go into F Dragster. Ah, nice. Now Grinnell can attack you directly. Big hits. All right. We got to play this turn. Let's go. Uh, I don't know what I can draw to save me here. Yeah, that ain't it. Um, so... I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. Cause I can't get that out. Cause that's that. Yeah. So. Well, I can special summon this. Cause there's a synchro monster on the field. And yeah, since I don't have link monsters in this deck, I don't know. I end my turn. Okay. Hmm. I still... I'm still dealing with the weakness that is Mechalords right now and only being able to attack with one monster. Oh, wait! Okay. Oh, that's right! Only, uh, Weissel yeah, has the that. Emperor, right? Yeah, yeah. Weissel Emperor. Hmm, so... Should just win. But I have this to add something back to my hand, yeah. <laughs> if you had one more turn, Zylo. That was just a good hand, though. I don't know if that's going to be a constant hand, though. What do you mean if I had one more turn? True. Wait, I thought... It's like that would have saved me. I thought flame. I thought the Flame Resonator gave you a... Ta Which one are you going to go? First or second, by the way? Uh, second. All right. I it just lets me summon from hand. Okay. Oof, okay, mm -hmm. did not draw as good as a hand as I did this before, so... That's good. You have a good... You have a chance for this one? All right. All right, so I normal summon the... Infinity core, core, activate, get this card growing, going, activate, add the Mechlord, to s use this to add Mechlord card to the hand, I will add the, you know, I'm going to add the Treskelion, sure, and then I can activate this, discarding my, my Phantom Beast to destroy that, activating their effect, very effects. consistent, This will allow me to special summon. Uh, let's get the spell negator out. Oh no. And 
and then the turn. Not as a scary negate field as I had in the previous duel buff. True. Silo. What happened to your hand? <laughs> Threw this three of the same card. That's oh, only good in late game, no. you know? It's... Oh no. So you got my luck, basically. <laughs> Sometimes. Happens to everyone. Stay in it. The deck doesn't wanna doesn't wanna play. Oh, I'm sorry, Zylo. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Bring out the other one then. Oh no. Oh, wait, I can't attack? At all? I wonder, I wonder what prevented me from attacking. I don't know. Unless, hold on. Oh, other monsters you control cannot declare an attack with skill. And Wiseau has to be the only I one. I put to myself attack. into a lock? <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of great. Okay. I put myself into a lock! Alright, well I drew something that I can use. However, you do have your juicy negate, so have at it. Or let me do it. Either way, works for me. You know I'll let it go through. I'll let it go through. Darn it. Okay. <laughs> and you then wanted I... me to negate it! Yeah, sorta. Of. It's probably better that you didn't, but either way. Um, we'll bring out this juicy guy. Yeah, I don't have any special summon negates or anything, or monster negates, mm -hmm. so... So we should be in business to make some business happen. And honestly, with how this uh, play normally goes at, we'll be in good shape. And you, will, and you won't forget your monster's effect that only affects face-up monsters. Because I'll be honest, if in the first duel, if you had waited and did the guy yeah, at the proper time, real. you would have been in a much better position. Got a little arc fiend pop on that. All right. Uh -oh. Destroy my own field spell. Okay. Wonder what that did. Can I do some big stuff here? Let's find out. I can. Weirdly, that should work marvelously. Okay. Um, is he summon three or two? Special summon up to two. Okay. Uh, I think I want two ones at this point, so we'll do that. Because then I should be able to go into big scary boil. Neat. What is the uh, big scary boyo of my current desire? Um, well, this guy. Red Supernova Dragon! Also, these guys do their things, get me some cards back. I think they both do the same thing. I think both their effects go off as well. Needle. Uh, we can then... Hmm, nothing too spicy for me to do in addition to all that, so maybe I should... Oh, well, no, you have a big... They should just give me the win. Yeah, because that's just numbers on field. I uh, don't think I can do anything with this, but I'm just going to activate everything for fun. Yeah, nothing to do with that. Okay. Uh, battle. Supernova. Get him. Ow. Darn yeah, it. That, that time we got to play. Okay. So, yeah, let's run again. Yeah. Um... I want to go second this time. Sure. That was so weird. That was with the hand that had <laughs> three of the same, the worst hand, too. <laughs> nice. Okay. So now we can't be negated, but I will say the hand is a little lacking for the turn one. Hmm. That could be fun. This could be necessary. This helped us last time. So we'll do that. We'll do that, and... I think the play is going to be to set two cards on my turn. It's not a good start, but we're doing something on my vision plays. All right. Well, I'm going to activate my pre-preparation. Then activating the Illusion of Chaos can add that card to the hand, of course. And select the card to return to the deck. I will return the field spell back. Nice. Then... Uh, can send two spell cards on the field, draw that many cards, if this card is in your hand, from the deck to the graveyard, okay. I yeah, will so activate- Special summon himself out and then use your uh, spell cards as a, uh, you know, stuff to help you draw more. Yeah. Well, I will give up my Illusion of Chaos and Alrighty. my Mech Lord to bring out Barrel Lord. Riot Dragon. 
Very I nice. forgot how good this guy is to bring out, honestly. Yeah, it's just because um, Ritual is hard in a lot of decks, but it's obviously a good card. Yeah. Just negate special. I hate that so much. Yeah, and if he was in a full Borolo deck, he would be or Rocket deck. Yeah, you have all the other crazy stuff going with it. Mm -hmm. I should try. I, I we've tried to make Bor rockets in the past work. Yeah, we've always come a little short, but maybe we can it's try it again. Objectively good. Mm hmm. We could try it again and see if we can make it work. Maybe. Shoot! Did not mean to activate that. Yeah. Darn. We have a chance. Activate. Send to the graveyard that card. Special right. summon it. Fantastic. Oh, actually, there is a potential because that's a tuner. Always yeah, that's get about this the star, star Frost. Star Frost is a good like uh, high level tuner. I think he's supposed. Yeah, I forget what deck I used it in, but it was really good. It was in his own Star Frost deck. The whole uh, those guys. Well, I think I used it in a deck that Scarecrow, really, uh, I think was. Maybe. But you know. know uh, do you remember Destrudo, that Synchro Dragon? Mm -hmm. I think he's a replacement for that for a lot of decks. I can see it. Yeah, high level tuner just freely comes out. Destroy a card. Right. Add it back to the hand. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, for later, because I'm going to need him later. Whoever's, whoever knows this deck is like, You're playing it wrong! Probably. Oh yeah, and then I get to add your attack points to mine. Oh no! Nah, just kidding. I only gained half of it, so I only gained 400 attack point <laughs> boost. Yeah, hey, it wasn't the strongest thing put down. Okay, thank goodness we gotta play. <laughs> Looks like this deck's, uh, the non tuners are struggling to be drawn a lot of time. But we're here now, so that's what's important. Red Rising Dragon. The deck's kind of running like a bit of a one trick pony, but that's cool. Oh, what does he get to do? I don't know. Let's hit him. He gets to come out and play? That's awesome. Okay. I guess um, I just couldn't bring out the other thing because only one of them gets to play. But that means we can, in addition, bring out two other things. Uh, now we're just going to kind of fill the field because I don't know what numbers I need yet. Um, oh, no. I can only use Crimson Resonator when I have nothing else on the field. I'm dumb. Oh, well. We can still get to an abyss at the very least. So I think I'll do that. Let's go to a Scarlight. Could have probably gone for a Supernova again. I will not activate the effect because it'll kill my own re Resonator, I think. Um, yeah, as many monsters as possible with the attack. It doesn't matter what mode they're in. So we'll just go to Abyss. Pull it out there. This, I believe, gets to add something back to hand. Did we normal summon this turn? We're about to find out. We Oh yeah, the original Red Resonator. So that's cool. That'll open up some plays for later. I'm just going to hold on to that because of that all. And, or I could just spam it now and do big damage this turn. Or I could play safe. I'm going to play safe because we're both kind of low on guards. And yeah, no reason not to drop your attack a little here. And battle. Get him. Use that. Allow me to get out. Don't want the life points, or do I want to go into the 10? I kind of want to just keep Arc the Abyss, so... I'll just do this, give myself a juicy pile of life points. Yeah, that's a lot of life there. points. Mm -hmm. I actually... It's quite viable now to still go into my Tyrant, I think. Can I do anything on your turn? Yeah, we're just going to play hard here. We're going to oh. use our Return of the Dragon Lords that we can actually use now. I'm very happy. And then we'll go into the Hot Red Dragon Archfiend main. Is that it? I wanted to go into the... Is this the guy I wanted to go into, or did I want to go into this guy? I wanted to go into this guy, but I cannot, so we'll just go into this guy instead. Cool. What's his activated thing? Tribute 1, target 1 Red Dragon Archfiend, and special summon it. When he inflicts battle damage to your opponent. Okay, so he's not actually going to do anything right now, but he's higher power, so why not? Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Three cards and I have a field negate. Mm -hmm. Not a great spot to be in. I will summon Army of Scale. Hmm. Okay. You didn't destroy him? I don't destroy, I just negate, so. Oh. 
not, not to mention, I did see like the second line of his effect. So that's on you if you want to make that happen, buddy. Gonna have to. Um, yep. I actually can't stop it because if I negate your effect, it's a graveyard effect anyway. Mm hmm. So have at it. Um, I will now activate this to get free stuff out, though. Let's do another red resonator, why not? Whoop. This will allow me to mm -hmm. bring out... Burn through the battle phase to get there, at the very least. Obligado. Very good. There we go. I was acting a little slow. I just needed to uh, confirm. I'll use this now. I know your stuff thrives on destroying itself, so... Darn it. Yeah, I was going to bring out two army monsters and potentially... Do some, ah. uh, and do some either a link play or XYZ play. Okay. Darn it. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like this is all is pretty much settled at this point then. Plus, I also could have brought out one of my ace monsters if you would have not done this. These decks are playing really interesting against each other. It's just complete landslide on either side. Yeah. <laughs> There's no, like, even bouts left and right. It's just landslides one way or the other. Uh, I can discard a Resonator monster and add that, or I can uh, do a Crimson Resonator to field. Yeah, I think we'll just hold on to all our cards, because it doesn't really matter. And... Yeah, we'll just go for a lovely little battle. Oh, actually, this could be fun. Yeah, jeez. Forgot he does this. Even more! And since all my monsters are just completely yoked out of their mind... We can do that without any repercussions. So... Ah. Oh yeah, you get to use your uh, destruction effect off. Yep, which may help me survive a turn, actually. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna go to battle and see what happens. Oh, wait, I thought that was the one that if it... Oh, um, no. I don't think it is. <laughs> it's turning the end enough. phase. Uh, do I want to bother with the effect? Not really. I don't need Give more me a things turn. on the well, field. Uh, Ah. <laughs> is it going to change anything? It was, yeah. I was going to bring out my ace monster, because one of the things is he needs to have three different mech lords in a graveyard ah, to activate. It. It's not I like see. the anime where he can say, stop the attack, and all that. Yeah, right. That's what I was trying to do. Well, okay. These decks are very quick, powerful, and aggressive to shut down your opponent, it seems. It's a nice little matchup. Good times, good times. I'll admit, I was really upset at the first two duels. I was like, I don't even get to play. Oh, man. And I assume that your side feels similar. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, well, you had something and I say no, and then that's that. Welcome to modern Yu-Gi-Oh, ladies and gentlemen. But I suppose yeah. that is that. It's it's interesting, well. to say the least. <laughs> hey, if you like this style of dueling, let us know. If you hate it, also let us know. I'm curious to see what you guys think, because I know we got a mix of goofy Yu-Gi-Oh fans and classic Yu-Gi-Oh fans in And here. the few so. competitive guys, so. Yeah, exactly. So let us know what kind of duels you're really feeling, and uh, leave a like on this one if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything else, and we will see you next time. See ya, folks.